Okay, all right, so I'm gonna get go ahead and show you. I got this washer in. I just got done with the uh, installing the hub wheel bearings. So I put the uh, washer in, and now I'm gonna just show you real quick how to install it. So I got some blue thread locker. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there like that. All right, and then go ahead and put the uh, put the nut on. And then these axle shafts came with brand new nuts. So, <clears throat> all right. So this is the, uh, the axle shaft. Uh, go ahead and put in. brake rotor in and then uh, go ahead and set up I just put these needle nose pliers there you can put a, use a screwdriver or whatever and go ahead and torque it I got it set for 175 foot-pounds and this socket is uh, it's a 36 millimeter it's pretty big it's old school I don't even remember it was it came with some tool kit back in the early 90s. All right, so we'll go ahead and start torquing. It's uh, 175, it's quite a bit. Whoops, get that real quick. So that fell out, it's hard to do with one hand. Go ahead. Hopefully the camera doesn't fall. Hundred seventy-five. Notice uh, the grip on a torque wrench. You want to keep your pressure on there. Do not put it over here because you're not getting an accurate torque. So just you know, grip it like this on the, where uh, the grips are. Torque it. 175 and you, when you hear the click you know you're done and then basically just go ahead and put the, uh, the lock clip on there put a cotter key in it's in a weird angle all right you get the gist. I'll get it in there. Anyway, so that's it. I'll uh, update you later. All right. Good day.